Hey, hey, hey. Hey, catch. We're back in my kitchen for part two of this dish, grilled beer brats. Uh, earlier this afternoon, we made a pepper relish to go on our beer brats. That turned out so good. Um, I'll do the reveal a little bit later, okay? I'll show you all that um, and see how that turned out because I had to simmer for like 30 minutes. So I will show you that later, but I will reintroduce myself. My name is Kristen Solorzano. I am the recipe developer and content creator behind What's the Frickin' Recipe, where I share semi-homemade comfort food for busy people like you. We're all busy. <laughs> so kind of going along with the summer theme here on Kitsch, the big chill. I don't want to do a lot in the summer. I like easy peasy dinners and these grilled beer brats are definitely one of our family favorites. Okay. So it's beer brats. Okay. You gotta, you gotta crack a little beer. So before I get into it, there is the recipe over there on the right hand side. You can kind of toggle between the two. You can join me at the chef's table if you would like to kind of interrupt me and ask questions. Totally cool. Let's hang out, okay? Um, I cracked my beer. The recipe does call for two. We're only making five beer brats, so really we don't really need two beers just for the simmering process, but the other beer is for the chef, okay? Cheers. Beer for the chef. <laughs> okay, so let me... I had to check on a little something. Let me take y'all over here, okay? So beer brats, they go kind of like in a little beer, onion, butter, hot tub. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're making a little hot tub for our brats. So I just have half a yellow onion that I'm gonna slice up into thin slices here on my cutting board. Yeah, there we go, making sure you guys can see. Thin slices. This is a big one, so I don't really need to use all of it. Okay, and I'm gonna take y'all over here to our skillet. I am uh, grilling indoors today because I have a little bit more control over the environment. Mm -hmm. We live a little bit closer to our neighbors, so you know, just trying to, uh, keep it real <laughs> but also that way I don't lose connection because sometimes it's a little hard with the wi-fi okay so I got my onions and butter we need butter <laughs> yes I'm gonna kind of stir this around a little bit with my spatula you don't have to soften the onions first. That's gonna do it kind of in the beer itself. Mm -mm -mm. I love the smell of onions cooking. All right, I got my beer. I do like to use like a light beer for this. I mean, you can use whatever you want. If you like dark beer, if you wanna use, I like one that's not gonna overpower the really good flavor of the brat seasonings themselves. So a light lager is like pretty neutral. Um, if you want a little bit more depth of flavor, pop more power to you, okay? So here we got our little hot tub going and I'm gonna bring this up to like a low boil. There we go. And then we're gonna put in our brats, okay? But I went ahead, ahead of time. Let me take y'all back over here for a second. Move this. <laughs> All right, let me get a hot pad. I did some brats ahead of time as far as the simmering process. So I'm gonna let y'all see that goodness. <laughs> you see that shine from the butter? Mm -mm -mm. that looks so delish so they're mostly cooked right now and then we're gonna sear them off on the grill Ooh, I am fogging up here there we go 
So when you're grilling outdoors, you want the grill to be like around 400 degrees. And make sure you're using a grill safe saucepan for the little beer hot tub, okay? Please don't come at me saying that you ruined your pot or your saucepan. Because you tried my recipe, but your pan was not grill safe. That could be like a cast iron skillet, okay? Making sure my grill is pre my grill pan is preheated over here. I know I'm a little scattered, but I'm gonna take y'all back over here so I can show you the beer hot tub, how it's kind of low boiling right now. Check it out. Okay. So that's what we want. And I have gonna nestle in our brats in the beer onion butter hot tub. And then those are just gonna hang out five minutes per side, so 10 minutes total, okay? <clears throat> so if you were cooking for like a crowd or a barbecue, I would definitely double or triple this recipe. So I thought starting off with just one package would be a nice starting point and you can kind of go from there. Okay, so those are gonna hang out for 10 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer for five so I can flip them. Because you know your girl gets distracted sometimes when she's talking to y'all. <laughs> Just being honest. It happens. It's okay. Okay. So I have our prepared simmered brats over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put them on a plate for a second. And I'm going to return this saucepan back to the heat so those onions can kind of soak up that beer butter bratwurst liquid, okay? I'm going to crank that up. Ooh, I smell our grill. It smells delicious. And since we're going to sear these brats, I'm just going to kind of like pat them a little bit because I want them to sear on the outside. I don't want them to keep steaming, right? So I'm just gonna give them like a little, a little pat to grill it up. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> I was talking about this in my one o'clock stream, but there is nothing better than just like a bratwurst in the summer, right? And I don't know if it's because of my German heritage or what, but it's one of my it's one of my favorites. All right, I'm gonna take y'all over to the grill pan. I'm gonna crank that up just like a little bit. I'm feeling for the heat. Look at our onions going nuts over here. Woo! They are boiling away. And those are going to be so delicious on top of the beer broths with our pepper relish. All right, I think we're good. So we're just going to sear these off for a couple minutes per side. Actually, I want this grill a little bit hotter. I thought it was hot, hotter than it actually was. So that's okay. I'm gonna show you all the pepper relish while we're waiting for that to heat up a little bit more. Boop. All right. So if you remember from the one o'clock stream, we blended one onion with uh, Hungarian peppers, jalapenos, red bell pepper, and we simmered it down with some apple cider vinegar, sugar, and salt. But look how thick and luscious and delicious that got. That's going to be so good on our bratwurst. But honestly, like you could put it on any grilled meat if you really wanted to. Hamburgers, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, you name it. Okay. So good. Even eggs. I would be, I would kind of be into it. Tangy, sweet, spicy, delicious. All right. Our grill feels a lot hotter now, so I'm going to take y'all over here. Doo, 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 doo. All right. 
There we go. So we're just gonna grill these for a couple minutes per side, okay? I am about one minute out from flipping our other brats that are going in the pan. Oh yes. That's looking good. I'm gonna clean up my area a little bit. <laughs> so we can do the final taste test. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I don't know if there's anything better than, you know, just having a little drink and grilling up some good stuff. About 30 seconds off, we're gonna flip over our other brats over here. Ooh. Looking good. I'm actually gonna turn that down a little bit. I don't want them to cook too much, right? Just kind of want like a low simmer at that point. Five more minutes for those. We're doing a little dance here. And look how that beer and butter is just evaporating and going right into the onions. And we're gonna put these onions right on top of our bratwurst when it's done. Oh yes. We're in good shape. See if I can get a better angle without burning <laughs> without burning my phone. Hooey. Okay, so I'm gonna let that go for like another minute, 30 seconds. And I'm gonna show y'all how to steam buns in the microwave. I don't know if you have done this before but it adds like that stadium steam, you know, when they have that whole tray of steamed buns that they just pull out and put in the hot dog. It mimics that. So I just have a paper towel that I'm moistening with some water. I guess I should have given you a trigger warning for those that don't like the word moist. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll do better next time, see. Moist coming in, or I don't know. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I'm going to flip those because I don't want them to start squirting out all that amazing juice that we just created on the inside. So that's going to go for like another two minutes on the other side. Actually, I'm going to open our door so I don't set off any smoke detectors because <laughs> guess what wouldn't be the first time on kitsch <laughs> i burnt pita bread of all things and i wasn't even cooking anything when it went off threw me for a loop <laughs> okay so i wrapped the hot dog bun into some damp paper towel and then it just goes in the microwave for maybe like 20 seconds okay so i'm gonna stick that in there for when we're ready It is getting a little smoky in here. I think we're going to be all right, though. <laughs> Just like a little nervous. <laughs> Just a little bit. Without the fan. <laughs> all right. Our onions are looking so delish. Take y'all over here. It's really, really, really reducing. Almost like caramelizing. Yum. All right. Look good, look good. All right. I'm going to get our hot dog bun going. And then we're going to taste everything together. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right. 
Let me get a new plate here, just in case. All right, I'm gonna turn off our onions because those are going crazy. I'm going to remove our bratwurst here. And I'm gonna go turn on my hallway fan real quick. <laughs> There we go. Better safe than sorry because it's happened and it's, well, hilarious, not pleasant, okay? <laughs> the noise. All right. Take y'all over here. Ho, 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 ho. I'm so excited. All right. So you see our steamed bun. Let's see if I can get the steam on there. I'll do this. Ooh, you see that? Okay, so we are gonna start assembling our brats here. That's for our other brats. Take that off the heat for a sec. So it gets nestled in the steamed hot dog bun. And I'm going to do mustard. You can do whatever you want. I like going down with the mustard first. That way it doesn't like get all over your mouth when you're stuffing it with the onions and the hot pepper relish. I'll show you the onions in a second here. Oh, baby. Look at this. Look at those onions. Yum. Okay. And then we're going with our relish. Oh, yes. <laughs> that looks so good. All right. I I will sacrifice a mouth burn just for you because I like y'all a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna sacrifice a mouth burn because I know it's I know it's gonna be hot. <laughs> Cheers, catch. Thank you for coming to my kitchen for a little bit. Mmm. Look at that. That is so juicy. You see that juice in there? Mm -mm -mm. It is so tasty and delicious. And that pepper relish adds like a nice tang and sweetness and heat. It is so freaking good. All right, one more bite. None of them will let y'all go. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, 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 mmm. So good. Juicy. Tangy, sweet. It's so good. It just screams summer, right? That's it, Kitch. For today anyways we got a ton of great stuff coming up here on kitsch with the big chill i have my next schedule stream next tuesday where we're making grilled pound cake with macerated peaches super easy super delicious i really hope you tune in but in order to make sure you're aware of all the upcoming streams all the summer content be sure you're following me here on kitsch so you can be in the know but then also follow me on social media so you can Learn more semi-homemade recipes. I am on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube as WTFIN Recipe. And that's it. Enjoy the rest of your week, Kitch. I'll talk to you later. Bye.